The Resisto 2-ply system is the best waterproofing solution for low slope roofs. It consists of a waterproofing base sheet membrane for the first layer and an HR cap membrane for the second layer. This system is particularly effective on very low slopes of from 1% to 7% where shingles or other traditional roofing materials are less durable and efficient. Minimum temperature for installation is 10 degrees Celsius. And since these waterproofing membranes require no special tools to apply, they can be cold installed by any handyman. The Resisto 2-ply system has a 20-year manufacturing defect guarantee. The high-performance HR cap sheet used in the 2-ply system is a self-adhesive membrane made of SBS modified bitumen and a highly resistant composite reinforcement. The top face of the membrane is protected by brown, black, green or grey granules. The surface must be clean and dry. Broom it to remove any trace of dirt. Begin installation of your 20 square foot resisto board asphalt panels by placing them directly on the wood surface. Take care to align them well along the edge of the roof. Application will be staggered, so start with an entire panel for the first row, then a half panel for the next row, and so on. The panels cut easily with a knife equipped with a multi-purpose blade. Start at the base of the roof and manually fasten the panels with one inch round nails every 16 inches. These asphalt panels create uniformity on plywood or OSB panel surfaces in advance of installation of the base sheet membrane. In addition to improving the adherence of the base sheet membrane, they make it easier to remove the roof protection when its useful life expectancy expires. These asphalt panels are not mandatory in application of the base and cap sheet membranes. With the resisto board panels installed, apply exterior primer to the entire roof surface to allow perfect adherence of the base sheet membrane. Mix the primer well in its container and pour it into a metal pan. Using a conventional roller, apply a thin uniform coat. Allow it to dry completely for about 30 minutes. It should be tacky, but shouldn't stain your fingers. This primer may also be applied to wood, metal, and concrete surfaces. Install the base sheet membranes horizontally, parallel to the ridge on roofs with slopes of less than 30%. For roofs with slopes of greater than 30%, it's easier to install the membrane vertically, perpendicular to the ridge, and attach them with three round nails close to the ridge. On a flat surface, cut all the lengths of membrane that you'll need in advance. Use a multi-purpose knife with a new standard blade. After being cut, the membranes will roll themselves up. The following steps are best performed by two persons. This first row is different from all the others. Cut the first membrane down the middle of its entire length. Begin installation of the base sheet membrane at the base of the main roof. Only half of the base sheet membrane is glued in this row to avoid an overlapping of the joints between the base sheet and cap sheet membranes. If you're working on new construction, let the first strip overhang the base and sides of the roof by about three inches. If it's existing construction, and if the fascia is already in place, align the membrane with the edge of the roof. If it's possible to pull the fascia back, fold the membrane beneath it. Partially unroll the base sheet membrane and peel back a few inches of protective film to allow it to stick to the surface, passing your hand over it to promote adherence. As your helper maintains alignment of the unrolled membrane, slowly peel back the protective film toward the top of the roof at an angle of about 45 degrees. Smooth with your hand from the center to the edges to remove bubbles, folds and gaps as you go along. To guarantee perfect adherence between the base sheet membrane and the resistor board panels, run a linoleum roller over the entire surface. Use a small roller on the overlaps with good pressure to adhere the two membranes to one another. 
Repeat for each length of membrane until you reach the ridge on both sides of the roof. Install a final length of base sheet membrane directly on the ridge line. To join two pieces of base sheet membrane, plan an overlap of 6 inches. Beginning at the base of the slope, nail the aluminum flashing into place around the entire roof. Always starting at the base of the slope, apply a strip of red zone, taking care to overlap the border flashing and the surface of the roof. Finish with firm usage of a small roller over the entire surface. Roof accessories like vents and fans, chimneys, ventilation hoods and recessed lights must be protected in the same fashion with red zone strip. To treat, for example, a plumbing vent, apply a generous coat of elastomeric sealant under the aluminum flashing and fix it in place using roofing nails. Then apply a first red zone strip at the base of the accessory, then on the sides. Complete treatment with a fourth red zone strip on top of the accessory. Finish with your small roller using firm pressure. With certain accessories such as recessed lighting, make and use gussets of membrane at the four corners. Installation of the HR finishing membrane begins at the base of the roof. Unroll the Resisto HR cap sheet membrane. Align it on all sides of the roof with a quarter of an inch overhanging the edges. To keep it from slipping, fasten it temporarily by partially inserting three nails into the overlap section. The protective film is in two sections. Start by releasing the film at the bottom of the membrane. Smooth with your hand from the center to the edges to remove bubbles, folds and gaps as you go along. Next. Pull out the temporary nails, go back to where you started and remove the second section of protective film in the same way, but toward the top of the roof. To guarantee perfect adhesion, pass the linoleum roller over the entire surface. Pull the protective film off the non-granulated surface of the previous one. Use a brush or small roller to apply a coat of primer. Be careful not to get primer on the membrane's granulated surface. The next lengths will overlap on the non-granulated surface. Repeat these steps for enough lengths of membrane to reach the ridge. When joining two lengths of HR cap sheet membrane, plan for an overlap of six inches. Cut the first part of the membrane, which will overlap at an angle of 45 degrees. Apply elastomeric sealant to the overlap area. Then attach the membrane and finish with a small roller, paying extra attention to the overlap edges. For the areas around roof accessories, the cap sheet membrane should be cut to adjust perfectly to the edges. Then apply a line of elastomeric sealant all around the accessory. The roof ridge can be treated in two ways. The first involves folding the last membrane length on one side over onto the other side of the roof, ensuring an overlap of no less than 8 inches. Do the same with the last membrane on the other side of the roof, folding it over. If the widths of the last membranes don't allow for enough overlap, use the other method. Lay a 16-inch strip of membrane over the center of the ridge line. In this way, you achieve an 8-inch overlap on both sides. As with the joins, the granulated part of the membrane which will be overlapped must be coated with elastomeric bitumen. Use a chalk line to show where you must not apply the bitumen. Certain roof accessories like chimneys and the power pole may present waterproofing difficulties. The ideal solution is Resisto Flash Liquid Membrane. Once the Resisto HR cap sheet membrane is installed, apply a generous coat of liquid membrane with a brush. Immediately apply your pre-cut pieces of reinforcement fabric, making sure they adhere well. Then apply a second coat of liquid membrane, getting good coverage on the entire fabric surface and apply a third coat of liquid membrane to the entire surface. Spread an ample quantity of granules over the horizontal surface 
and use a spatula to apply granules to the vertical surfaces.